So in this session, we'll discuss how to terminate an employee and then how we can go for rehire an employee here. So whenever we want to terminate an employee, first what we have to do is we have to go to person records from say navigator, person management and search for an employee here. And after we search an employee, go to task list. Here we can find work relationship, go to work relationship. And here uh, we can see that I am not able to find this menu actions. If we want to terminate an employee here, we need an action. Okay. So you must be a manager or you must have an access to the human resources list. The current employee is having the access to this application. So who is the current employee? He is, uh, let me go for select. He is not an employee. He is just an user. He is not an employee. If I go to personal information, I can find who has logged in. What's the employee name and what is the status? Yes, uh, he is uh, Mr. Karthik Nair and his employment details. He's uh, working for another legal employer, PwC legal employer. He's working for PwC legal employer. Okay. But this employee is working for another legal employer. So he cannot go for terminate this employee. So make sure that employee is working for same legal employer because he is current Karthik Nair is working for PwC and employee is working for some other company. So we cannot uh, go for terminate. Let me take another employee here. Take it as PwC. Is Karthik Nair is the manager? Let me cross check. Otherwise, we'll make him as a manager. Go to person management. Search for employee. I'm just cross checking whether he's a manager or not. Yes, he is a manager. When he has joined in the organization, 19-9-2022. Okay. Let me hire an employee new person PWC legal entity here going to make it. Karthik Nair is a manager for this employee here.
let me search for employee first let's go to person management here we can find this is an employee what is the hiring date here for employee here it is so uh, first november 2020 that's the hiring date who is the manager kartik nair is the manager a manager wants to terminate this employee on 1st december so go to work relationship now i can find this button actions earlier we were not getting because that employee was different legal entity he was working and this this employee is for different legal entity that's the reason we were not able to get now we can go to actions and terminate we are terminating on december 1st this employee here i'm going to say that the rehiring is okay if we say rehire is not then we have to mention what is the reason low performance or negotiated uh, settlement what is the problem and uh, who is the authorized means uh, who has mentioned that uh, we cannot rehire this employee so who is the authorizer that we will find over here okay going to say that rehire as yes we can rehire this employee click review button submit we have terminated an employee on 1st december including 1st december december 1st including terminated work relationship take some time by that time it will be terminated so is active till 1st december from 2nd onwards obviously he comes under terminated process now we want to go for rehire this employee we would like to rehire this employee from february 1st from february 1st we would like to go for rehire this employee if we want to rehire an employee same process choose the employee details here click this work relationship is used to go for termination and if you want to go for rehire we have to use this create work relationship we have to use this create work relationship click on this now we are going to rehire this employee we cannot rehire an employee on the same day a minimum 24 hours required now anyway we are rehiring this employee for february 1st 2023 february 1st 2023 the reason is rehire an employee here we can get all the information legal employer details if we want to change of course we can change this information here
this home address. I'm hiring an employee for the same BU. For the same position. But location is different. Let's say we are hiring for different locations. We rehired this employee successfully. Research today, this employee is active as PwC manager in New York today, November 22. And if we search on December 8th, I'm not able to find record because we have not enabled this checkbox because by that time, employer has terminated. We can perform that here. So in December, it is showing that employee was working in New York, but terminated. So on this effective date, the employee status is this. And we rehired this employee for February 1st. The time he will be active. See, the record is active and the location is different. In February 1st, employee will be on Redmi Warehouse. Here we can find. As we selected this, include terminated work relation also. That's why this record also is displaying. And check this checkbox. We'll find only the active records as of this date. And if we go for this record here, Click view history. We can find a rehire employee. History is showing that it's not hiring. It's already hired earlier and terminated. Now we are going for a rehire. This. Okay. So this is how we can go for terminate an employee. And we can go for hire an employee rehiring process for this. Yes. This is how it will work. Okay. So make sure that the dates are uh, having at least 24 hours gap if we want to go for a rehire an employee after termination. After termination. See that the user account also is generated and it is uh, active status. This here. Okay. Thank you.